Yeah, we're about to drive an hour back to the Apple store. Guys, it's the login screen. Oh my goodness, the Twilight Saga. I just finished the promo video for opening up. So I feel like a terrible dog mom <laughs> because I forgot that it was Roxy's birthday. I'm allowed to live a little, okay? Sometimes you can't do everything. Well, hello there. That was messy. Hi, I'm back at Andrew's parents' house. It's Sunday. I'm not ready to start vlogging yet, but I will in a minute. I'm, I just finished up uh, the audio for opening up part one, and then I'm gonna wait to upload that until I go to Starbucks later because I actually need to for one of my jobs. I'm getting really excited about tomorrow. I'm excited and nervous. I'm also just super, super stressed out. I've been really stressed out because I got the new car. And so since I've been editing this video and like in the video and talking about my car, my old car now, and the situation and emphasizing like I'm not ready to buy a car, I'm still very much like, I know I had to do it because honestly, like after that video, that video was filmed in September, a week after we came back from Disney. That was filmed in the middle of September and now it's November. Since that video, like my car has very severely declined the it's, its situation. So it's been really scary for me. Hello. I, my car, it was very much a, I had to do it because I knew it wasn't going to last into the winter. And I, I still feel really guilty about it. Uh, it's a lot to think about. I have a lot to like mentally process up here. I take a while to process things, I feel like. I have to break down like every little thing and get used to it. Like I'm not even used to, to this car, my new car. I looked out in the driveway and I glanced, wasn't expecting to see my car. I was like, who's here? And then I looked again, I'm like, oh, it's me, I'm here. Yeah, I know I just got on a ramble. I, I've noticed that like after footage dumping yesterday, I spent most of yesterday and the night before, like uh, the day before yesterday evening, footage dumping. And I've noticed that this vlogging is really therapeutic for me. So I'm sorry if you haven't found it very entertaining. I'm sure there have been some really entertaining things about it. Like there were some things that I was watching again and like howling, laughing so hard. Like if anything, just stay around for Roxy who's chewing on her foot. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Like if anything, stay around for Roxy. Like she's the highlight of all of our lives, isn't she? Do you know that you're the highlight of my life? That I love you? So, yeah. I keep getting distracted. Can you tell I'm really spacey today? Like, I am all over the place. But now that I've procrastinated working enough, I do think that I need to start working because it's already 1.25. I need to change out that laundry real quick, though. I will see you guys later. Roxy found her sunlight spot on the stairs. So I found a blanket to put there for her to lay down because she will not lay down on just hardwood floor. She loves the sun. She looks like a princess. She looks like the queen of the stairs sitting atop her throne. <laughs> I love you, Roxy. I bet she's gonna fall asleep up there. She is living her best life. Her best little old lady life. I am such a dog mom. I'm gonna be that mom, aren't I? That just embarrasses their kids. You guys, it's Monday. It's Monday, it is November 4th. I have not been vlogging a whole lot this weekend because I have mostly been glued to my computer. I did do my work yesterday and then I did go to Starbucks, but when I got to the Starbucks, it was weird. I'm not used to the one. There's a Starbucks just down the road from here. It's a lot smaller than the one that I usually go to. And it was super crowded. And I, at first I couldn't find a table, but then when I went up to order, I noticed a table that was open. It was weird. I was gonna end up getting stuck sitting at the bar. But I was, see, I went to Starbucks. What was it, around 6.30 or 7? And then I was there until 9.30, uploading and processing and doing the thumbnail and the description box and the promotions, checking the audio. So once I finally got to a point where I could stop, I just sat and watched a YouTube video for a little bit until it was finished processing. I'm really hoping that this goes okay. 
you like even if no one shows up to the premiere which i've had that happen before but i couldn't blame anybody because it was like 1 a.m i'm not necessarily hoping that like statistically it does well i'm just hoping that what i say is received well in my sense of humor for the last two and a half minutes of the video oh that reminds me i have to do the i have to remember to do the instagram story or the instagram story the igtv that's the other thing that i was doing i was working on getting the igtv so what the instagram tv is going to be it's going to be like the first minute or so like for this one it's the first two minutes of the video as the video is just turned sideways so you can watch it sideways on your phone and then it'll have a little thing like this video is now live on youtube search not so artistic in quotes or click the link in my bio um and the reason why i do not so artistic in quotes like say that is because one i don't have a thousand followers so i can't link it in my instagram stories to swipe up and two when you search something in quotes the search engine searches it exactly how you writ you've written it. So if you search not so artistic, um, here, I'm just going to show you guys. Okay. So when you search not so artistic, it still brings me up as the first one, but then it also starts bringing up all these other things. And then there's me and then there's other things. But when you put quotes over it, it's just me. That's why it brings you exactly to where you need to go. And I got a new subscriber yesterday. Good morning. It is Sunday. I don't remember the last time I vlogged. It must have been Monday. I have pain in my hands today. I'm surprised that my knee isn't bothering me as much today uh, because I drank alcohol at dinner last night. Andrew and I's anniversary was this week. And so it was on Thursday the seventh, but we celebrated it yesterday, which was Saturday. We went out to eat at this fancy restaurant called Peterson's. We were the youngest people in there. It was like 40 and over, like maybe late thirties, but like 40 and over in there. And so not like we waited 30 minutes to be sad. We had a reservation and we think we would have gotten like got our table sooner had this old couple that came in after us not complained about waiting so long. They weren't even there that long. They might have been there for like between five and ten minutes. Like they were not there that long at all. Sorry, my voice is getting raspy. And then they like went up and was like asking, you know, how long is it gonna be? I wanted to get a bottle of wine and yada yada yada. And like, dude, do you not see the couple sitting across the waiting area from you that have clearly been here a lot longer than you have? I don't know. I think it's a good thing that Andrew and I are very patient people because the old people did get sat down sooner than we did. Um, and we had been there before them. And unless like they had a reservation before us, which I highly doubt. So we were but like we were we were having a good time. We just like sat at this they have like little tables and then like a little bar area and then an area for people to stand. Um we sat at the table and we were talking about how terrible Twilight was <laughs> and what they could have done better. So like we were having a good time before we even got sat down. Like we were laughing, being idiots kind of. Like we were clearly the youngest people there, but then like one of the hostesses like came over a couple of times and apologized for the wait and thanked us for being patient. Um and then we got sat. I don't remember entirely how it was set up. It looks like it was like like closed off rooms kind of. We got sat in one of the rooms in a corner. We got sat like back in a corner. It took me a while to figure out what I wanted to drink and I felt bad because like our waitress just going back and forth a little bit and like at, the, at that point there were three other tables in the room one of them was a long table and then there were two round tables and then one of the round tables was full and then the other one had three people at it <laughs> we had a wine list like an actual wine list a booklet full of wines and that was weird and we were joking about how how out of place we felt the entire time the only reason we could afford to go here too is because we had 200 dollars in gift cards for this place but we noticed that we were the only people there with like the most table manners uh and i don't like saying the most class but like i don't know the way that some of these like the, the Keep in mind, over 40, both tables, both of them were like cussing up a storm, like F words all like all across the board, like multiple times throughout the night. And I was like, dude, we're eating dinner here. Like I say the F word, 
but like I don't say it at the table. There's a difference between saying it at the dinner table and saying it while you're eating Burger King on the couch, okay? <laughs> but like we're at a fancy, like a fancy to us restaurant, I guess. I don't know. And <laughs> there's people like the, the people at the long table were getting rowdy. We found out later that it was because they were supposed to be in the bar. They had requested to be in the bar, but the bar was booked up. And then like the people next to us, they were super pompous. Like, the guy was being a bit of an ass to the waiter and the waitress, kind of like mocking them a little bit. Uh, and I feel really bad for them because I've been in that position where you can't do a whole lot to stand up for yourself in that situation because, you know, your job is important, okay? He's kind of doing that. He's taking a sweet time to look at everything. Like, he had a very young Ted Mosby vibe about him, except he was not young at all. He had to have been in his 60s. Like, we were laughing about it. Being, like, I leaned over to Andrew and I was like, we're some of the youngest people here and we have, like, the most class. What the heck? Like, we were making jokes about it, but, like, it was uncomfortable. Like, what would your mother say? What would your mother say if she heard you saying this stuff at the dinner table? At a, like, at a nice restaurant where there is a dress code, you have to, it's business dress code, but like, still you have to get a little fancied up. I guess you reach a certain age and your filter is gone, but like, you're in public, dude. But we had a really good time last night. So, yeah, today is Sunday. I am very tired. If you haven't, if you can't tell, like, I actually haven't had any coffee yet. Um, because we are going to go to the grocery store together. Um, we're going to go to a store called Fresh Time, which it's kind of like a giant farmer's market slash specialty food store stuffed together. Yeah, but I'm gonna take you guys along with like a mini part of my detox routine uh, that I do when I have fall off the wagon like this. Later. I was going to vlog in the store, but then my camera died. Anyway, so what I'm going to do for you guys then is do a little grocery haul while I'm stuffing this stuff in the fridge. So first thing we got was this cold brew by Khalifa, Khalifia Farms. I wanted to get this because I saw it the other day or last week when we were in there. Um, they sell this at Sunspot too, which is the natural food market I go to in my town. I got the 2X Espresso one because it has the highest caffeine concentrate. I mean, it's still not. It's like in the middle if it'll focus. Hello, will you ever focus? Thank you. It's like still not a whole lot of caffeine, but it was more compared to the other ones. Um, and it has almond milk in it. It has uh, 10 grams of sugar per eight flat ounces so eight flat ounces is like slightly less than a tall at Starbucks uh, talls are 12 ounces so I made an idiot out of, my, out of myself a little bit because I went in I forgot that I needed produce because I got distracted and very excited about a lot of things and then I realized oh we're making fried rice tonight so I got a bok choy and a bell pepper this is not for tonight I got this pumpkin spice cheesecake uh, because I'm going to take it home and keep in mind this is not my freezer that you're about to see. I'm going to take it home and save it for Thanksgiving. So I tried this recently, this uh, by Four Sigmatic, this mushroom hot cacao mix with reishi. It's very good. Like I was not expecting to like it as much as I did because I have tried some of their mixes before and did not like them. They were too earthy for me, but it, I think because it has the cinnamon in it and the mixture with the cacao, it's super good. This is very good. Um, ingredients like very clean. Uh, so I got some eggnog, well, coconut milk nog because I mean, dude, Christmas. This I was not planning on getting. I actually, it kind of caught me off guard. It's an alive adaptogenic tea with reishi, chaga, and turkey tail. So this one, so these are good for um, stress relief. And after my mental breakdowns this week, I could honestly use a little bit of stress relief. So I got this for the time during the week where I get unbelievably stressed out and freak out a little bit. I'm going to drink that. Um, so fresh time. Part of the reason why I love it is because they have fresh juices that they make that day there. So this is their green time. I was between this and getting just straight up celery juice because they actually had straight up celery juice this time. But I got this because there's apple and lemon in it, which is going to hopefully make it taste a little bit 
more bearable. Why are you focusing on the countertop? Quit focusing on the countertop. Well, it's not focusing very well, there it goes. So it has kale, spinach, cucumber, parsley, apple, and lemon. I always drink a green type of juice when I am doing a detox because greens are a good source of iron and I am naturally just very low iron. I'm pretty sure I'm anemic, like 99% sure I'm anemic. I've been asked multiple times in my life if I'm anemic and now that I have RA, anemia is a very common thing. And then I was a little unsure. I wanted to get watermelon juice instead of this because um, watermelon juice is really good for you. But this is actually pear time. It's fresh pears, apple, and ginger root. And I got this be mostly because there was ginger in it and ginger is a very good anti-inflammatory and it's also very good at cleaning your gut out. It's a coconut vanilla flavored probiotic drink. I got this because it a probiotic is really, really good to have when you're uh, doing a gut detox. It just helps clean the gut out and it's organic. So this was pretty good. I think this is like $6 though. Um, so it is pricey. Coffee. This in there. Put in the kombucha. Eggnog in here, hopefully. Don't need to put the bell pepper in there, but we do need to put the bok choy in here. Awesome. Okay. Roxy's in her throne. Hello, my darling. Hi. Are you so excited? If this is not how a dog should live out her senior years, I don't know what to tell you. Like, she is so spoiled, but she deserves it because she's an old lady. Old lady who didn't get a whole lot of attention before us. Are you a good little old lady? <laughs> She's ripping the brains out of her moose, if you haven't noticed yet. Um, it's four. The sun has now hidden itself behind the clouds. The sun is going to set in like an hour and a half. It's a little depressing, not gonna lie. So I'm going to drink some juice. We're gonna drink our nasty juice and then hopefully the other juice is good. Okay, we're gonna start with the green one, or the really green one first. It's not gonna be good. I'm gonna tell you what, these juices, if you guys do any of these juices, do not expect it to taste good. It will taste healthy. This coming out of the bottle, just smelling it right now, it smells like I'm about to drink a salad, like a Texas Roadhouse salad or, or something. A salad from Outback Steakhouse. It smells like a steakhouse salad, which is good when you load it down with croutons and ranch and and cheese, but think about it, like you just took all of the good stuff about the salad off and you left just the veggies. And then you juiced it. Doesn't taste as bad as it smells. It definitely tastes healthy. It kind of has like a, it's gonna sound hilarious, it kind of tastes like the smell of freshly mowed grass in the summer. That's what this tastes like. It's grass. This is crass, and we call this shit health. This one smells better. Um, I'm thinking it's gonna be kind of spicy because there is ginger in here. It smells a little questionable, to be honest. I don't know how to describe the smell. It tastes a lot better. The ginger is strong. It's not like burning strong, but it is strong, yes. This one has some pulp on it. Got the juice down. Let's see. All gone. Now I'm gonna go upstairs and watch some TV for a minute. I'm going to set a timer though for, I might set it for five and then go back to filming and editing and. Okay, up the stairs we go. I probably can't vlog and go up the stairs at the same time because I am definitely not that coordinated. Okay, and now I will check back in with you guys later. Okay, hi. You remember how I said I got this kombucha for getting stressed out? Well, I guess you just got stressed out by some very unexpected news. Uh, well, actually, I was kind of anticipating it. I just wasn't anticipating it to happen today. Anyway, this kombucha, first of all, I was a little curious on how it would taste. I was worried that it was going to taste terrible. It tastes like root beer. In case you guys don't know, root beer is my favorite pop, soda, whatever you want to call it, favorite. So the fact that I have found this, which there is actually a kombucha that is marketed to taste like root beer, and it does. This tastes like the root beer that you get, like old fashioned root beer. 
Like there is a little bit of an earthiness to it. I will tell you that there is a little bit of an earthiness to it, but like it's, and it's not nearly as sweet as root beer is, but it is a lot sweeter than I was expecting it to be. So I'm very excited about that because I need to chill out. Um, and I think the change of plans is going to be that I shower now and then go to Starbucks because now I feel like I can't focus if I'm here. So we're gonna jump in the shower and then go to Starbucks, okay? Okay, bye. 8.01 p.m. You guys see this shit? It, I, I haven't seen it snow this much before my birthday in years. So, <laughs> this winter might suck a little bit. But you know what? It's gonna be okay. Oh, it's freaking wild, y'all. It's freaking wild. Okay, we need to go back to the house and be super careful driving home. My mom told me it was slick. It was slick driving here, so I don't even think I'm going to time lapse because of how bad it is, but I will talk to you guys when I get home. So, ye. Tomorrow. Door's frozen shut. I have to climb in from the side that's on the sunlight. Not the first time I've had to do this in a car either. I had I have to do this in my other car too, my old car. Oh my goodness. <laughs> How about some salty car aerobics while we're at it? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I made it. <laughs> Let, let's start the car. Good morning. It's already been a little bit of a day and well, first of all, I woke up really late today. I let myself sleep in because Long day yesterday, I had a bit of insomnia too. So it's 1.23 in the afternoon. Yesterday it was a little crazy, a little crazy, not gonna lie, but it's okay. Everything is fine now, but we do have a pretty jam-packed weekend. So yesterday was Wednesday, the 13th. Oh, it was the 13th. That's why yesterday was freaking nuts. Okay, so yesterday I had a migraine. Well, a steady brewing migraine up until the evening when it got very bad. Not like super bad, but like bad enough that it was an ailment. Also yesterday we were going to take my old car to the dealership and sell it. But if you didn't notice in some previous clips of the vlog, it's cold as heck and there is snow on the ground here in Indiana right now. I was right when I said that my old car wasn't going to last through the winter because the first snow and the first time it gets like super cold out, it wouldn't even start yesterday and I have a clip of that that I'm going to show you guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. I called it. Oh. I called it. I called it that it wouldn't last through the winter. Oh it's, my goodness. It's November. It's November. I called it. Today's the day, you guys. Today's the day. And we were supposed to sell it today, too. Today's the day. Just let me tell you that when I did, that when I did initially try to start the car and it would not start, I started, like, dying laughing. And I was trying to dig my camera out as I was laughing, but then Andrew came up to the car and I got a little distracted. The fact that it was the day we were going to try to sell it and it would not start is just the epitome of the situation. So funny, so ironic, much laughter. And then I wake up this morning this morning, I woke up at like 11.30. And so I slept in because exhaustion. My knee hurts. It's, at least it's warming up enough. You know it, you know it's the dead of winter in Indiana and anywhere where you get snow. When you think to your, when you hear that the high today is 35 and you think, oh, it's gonna get warm today. So that's where I'm at right now. Today is going to be eventful. Um, today has already proven that it is going to be yet another chaotic day, so welcome to chaos day two, I guess. Hopefully I will be able to pick up the camera more during the chaos, uh, and hopefully my knee stops hurting too because it's bothering me. I'm probably gonna have to take 
something. So I'm struggling a little bit, but I'm in a good mood, so that's a good thing. And I have donuts, um, and we're all laughing in some of these messages at least, so like, that's a plus, right? Laughter is a good source of therapy. You guys know this already. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling and we're gonna get going with our day. Well, this certainly isn't how I wanted to start vlogging today, but here we are. Ugh, make it stop, like people just stop it, chill out, like. I'm still determined to make this a holiday I will actually enjoy. Oh my gosh, you guys. I have never had this many views on a video before. Can I get a waffle? Can I please get a waffle? Oh. 